welcome back to everything wedding thank you guys so much for clicking on today's video kindly subscribe if you're not yet subscribed do not forget to hit that notification bell so that you'll be notified each time we upload a new video and also do not forget to share this video with your loved ones because you just never know who might need it also leave me a comment in the comment section kindly let me know which gown is your favorite on this particular video and why is that gown your favorite Don't turn it to an ocean, let me float around. So in today's video we get to enjoy these gorgeous tanning gowns and also we'll be able to share with you guys where you can get these tanning gowns on the description box so kindly check the description box so that you can know where you can get these gowns. So we are also going to be sharing with you some of the things that you need to pack on your wedding overnight bag and we know that the last day or two before your wedding can be super hectic because you're going to be delivering things you're going to be collecting things popping bubbly and hopefully indulging in lots of relaxation and beautification but making your nail your tan and waxing can take up a lot of headspace and often little things get forgotten along the way which is why we're going to be sharing with you some of your our handy checklist of what to pack in your wedding overnight bag so now your personalized packing list will of course vary depending on whether you're getting ready at home or you're going to be heading to your wedding straight from there or you're prepping in the bridal suit and spending a few nights away from home so we're going to be sharing with you this super helpful list and this is an overall guide to help you make your own so take what applies to you and ignore the rest when it comes to packing your own wedding overnight bag so the first thing you need to pack is your toothbrush you will also need to pack a hairbrush you will also need a wedding night lingerie for your information there is every chance you won't have the energy to put this on until you are on your honeymoon but it's good to be prepared you'll also need to pack cotton wool deodorant uh, a second day outfit a second day underwear some second day shoes and accessories if you're shoes are in boxes you can put photos on each one so that you can see what's inside at a glance you'll also need to pack a pair of flat shoes some comfy socks some pjs and your hair mask if you'll have a lot of day after back combing to tend to you'll also need to pack a bubble bath if your bridal suit is gonna have a big tub you'll need a bubble bath you'll also need to pack your moisturizer tampons a nail file and your makeup bag you can also pack your perfume a small speaker or a mini speaker some painkillers some medication and bath control, a phone charger, house keys, a bottle of bubbly. So we're gonna share with you some of the things that you can pack if you're getting ready at the hotel or at the venue. So the first thing you can pack in case you're going to be getting ready at the hotel or at the venue is something to wear for hair and makeup a robe or button up that goes easily over your head is best and make sure it's something you're happy to be photographed into if your photographer is coming for this part of the day also need to pack snacks for the wedding morning and some bottled water if the venue won't be supplying food and drinks mm -hmm. 
you're gonna need to pack your wedding dress or your wedding day outfit with a hanger your lingerie your shoes your wedding day handbag your jewelry and accessories and any sentimental items you want with you You're also going to need to pack anything you'd like to have photographed, like a wedding stationery is a common one. You're also going to need to pack wedding day emergency kit like safety pins, tissues and etc. Delegate this one to one of your bridesmaids if you can. You'll also need to pack wedding lipsticks, some sunglasses, Headphones in case you'll need some chill time, any cash payments ready in envelopes for on the day suppliers. You can put this in the safe when you arrive at the venue. You also need to pack a list of suppliers, their contact details and a timeline for the day, a pen and a notepad, your paperwork or ID for the legal ceremony if it's required. You're also going to need to pack the wedding rings and the wedding party gifts. I'm also going to share with you a few tips for packing your wedding. So obviously this is a list for brides. Grooms will do one for you soon too, but it's important to note items like the paperwork, wedding rings, or the supplier's payment are both of you to remember and the burden shouldn't be just on one half of the couple. Another tip is you might only be going away for one or two nights, but weddings come uh, usually come with a lot of stuff as standard. So don't try to cram it all into a small wedding weekend bag and about four tots. Take your big suitcase so there's a lot of room for everything that you're going to need. Shawls for the bridesmaids, a basket for the flower girl, divvy out any accessories or items for the wedding party in the days or the weeks before the wedding so it's no longer your responsibility to look after them. And also if you're getting ready at home and heading straight to the ceremony, kindly have someone reliable to bring your overnight bag to the hotel or accommodation ahead of you. Ensure that it's delivered to your room and any important items are hung up. Don't just bring it in the wedding car with you. You might forget about it and it will be left in the boot or worse head off with the driver. So guys that marks the end of our video today thank you guys so much for watching we are always excited to have you guys on our channel kindly subscribe if you're not yet subscribed and don't forget to give the video a thumbs up share this video with your loved ones and i hope that i'll be able to see you guys on the next one mm -hmm.